Hello friends, many times when you open an Excel spreadsheet, you will find this error message. There, is a, there was a problem sending the command to the program. This is a very annoying error message that pops out uh, or used to pop out in my computer at least once every five or six times when I click on an Excel file. So it, it was not happening before, it just suddenly started. So I did some investigation, a couple of hours of research, and I found different solutions uh, that I want to I wanna share with you. First of all, if you the first thing that you, you find when you Google that is the official Microsoft website explanation about the problem and possible fix. See, there was a problem sending the command to the program. Um, they ask you to download this uh, little program to fix it or this little pa patch. Uh, and if you have Windows 8, you just click here. You have Windows 7, you can click here. By the way, this is the link if you need to check it out. I tried that and it didn't work, so that didn't solve my problem. Also, if you scroll down, there is a way for you to do this yourself, depending on the version of Excel that you have. And I found that I already have unchecked that DDE, DDE option. So that was really not causing the problem. So the next things that I read on different bulletin boards and on the web is that there were some people that had installed a program called TuneUp and uh, they disabled this tune up or uninstall it and reinstall it and then this error went away i didn't have any installed it's almost a brand new installation of windows so that also was not the case for me the only thing that fixed my problem was the following solution and it involves changing registry keys on the registry of your windows installation it's not that difficult it's actually really easy so the first thing you have to do is open the windows registry editor you do that by pressing the Windows key and the R and then type reg edit like you see here on the screen. After you do that, the register editor opens and you can start uh, changing keys. But I have to warn you, uh, if you make changes here by mistake or you make a mistake making the changes, your computer may uh, become unresponsive or you may screw up some of the uh, applications. So be careful and just follow the exact steps I'm going to give you. So uh, let me open the steps here. So wh what we need to do is find this folder, okay? This folder that is part of all this hierarchy of folders. So there is two folders that we need to find and two register keys to find depending on which files we need to open. If it's for XLS extension files, we need to find the A H key classes root and then this following folder. So let's just do it. I click the H key class root folder, I'll expand that. Then I'm going to go to the next subfolder, which is Excel Sheet 8. I'm going to type here type to get there faster. And it was already open by me previously, so it's here. And then I will expand that the shell, that's the next folder, and then open is the next folder, and then command. Now I double, uh, when I click command on the right side of the register editor, I see that there is an entry. So this is the one that you're going to double click. You see that this says value data and it says excel.exe uh, quotation mark slash TDE. You're going to have to change that from excel.exe slash E quotation percentage one quotation. You put that right just like that. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it and click OK and that will change that registry key. After you have done that, I'm going to look for the next key, which is for the .xlsx files. So it's in the same folder, but this time it's Excel Sheet 12. So let's let's go back to that. I'm going to close this, and I, here it is, Excel Sheet 12. I expand that. Then the next subfolder so is Shell. And then the next folder is Open, which is already open, and then Command. I double-click that, and then double-click on the entry, and again, you're going to find that it's going to set excel.exe slash dde and then you have to change it to what you see here on the screen. This one I already changed it so you can see how it looks. Just copy paste excel.exe slash e quotation percentage one quotation at the end okay and make sure it's exactly like this and press ok. After you do that you may need a reboot when I Actually, it didn't, but it's always safe to reboot. And you will see that when you try to open an Excel file, it will tell you that it, it will actually the association with Microsoft Excel will be lost. That's okay. 
uh, Windows is going to show you a list of programs that can open Excel files. You just choose, uh, just choose Microsoft Excel from the list, click OK, and then that association is going to be reestablished and it's going to stay there. And after you open the file, you won't see this error anymore. And uh, I tested it for it's been a few days and no error so far. When I was getting that error so many times a day that it was really getting in the way to my Excel work. Well, I hope this helps you and uh, thank you for watching.